All right, welcome back. We're going to go ahead and do a radiator clean and flush and service with new coolant on a 2006 Nissan Titan. So first thing you want to do is remove your, uh, your caps on both your radiator and your overflow tank. Let's go ahead and remove those. Make sure the engine is cool when you do this. I got done driving about 20 minutes ago, so it should be all right by now. And you'll know it right when you start opening it. If it is, it'll start uh, spewing here. So I think we're okay. And these caps have a tendency. Of course, I can do this with one hand. Oh, the hose clamp is in a damn way. This clamp was stuck up in the way here. Okay, so now, boom. And we can see inside there. So what we're gonna do now, now that that's open, we're gonna go ahead and drain the petcock on the bottom of the radiator. So that's gonna be on the passenger side right down there at the very bottom of the radiator. So we'll go ahead and do that and we'll drain that out and see you in a second. Okay, so the next step is we're gonna drain the radiator using the uh, pet cock here on the passenger side. And this is a 19 millimeter. So you're just gonna open this up. And it's gonna let all that fluid out. Make sure you got a catch pan under here. I just got a new catch pan because I don't want to have a hole in the bottom of it. And it'll be worse okay, so we got about five quarts of uh, antifreeze out of that system. So we're going to go ahead and add our Prestone flush and cleaner and then distilled water. Make sure you use distilled water, not tap water. And then we're gonna run the truck for about three hours. I got about a three hour drive I'm about to make. Come back and then we'll finish it up. Okay, here we are. We're gonna add our radiator flush here. And what this will do is it'll run through the whole engine system and clear up any junk or corrosion or gunk in there. So we're gonna run the engine for about three hours. I've got a, a trip to make down the road here. And then we're gonna to top the rest of it off with this distilled water until it's full. And then we'll also fill up our uh, um, overflow reservoir. I did drain this out as well and I forgot to video that. So um, I drained it out and washed inside out with a pressure washer to get any of the gunk that was in there. So. Um, so we'll go ahead and fill that up and then we'll take it for a ride. Okay, when you're servicing the radiator back up, you wanna make sure that it's full because it takes a while for the water and uh, whatever you're servicing, water or antifreeze or whatever to get into all those little grooves and everything of the radiator. So you'll think it's full and it's not. So you always wanna make sure that it stays topped off for a few minutes before you put the cap back on and see. It's going back down, so it's still got some room in there. Okay, so it's the next morning. We have driven about five hours with the uh, flush and fill uh, radiator cleaner in here with uh, distilled water. So we're gonna go ahead and drain that out and fill it with fresh distilled water run the engine for about 10 minutes with the heater on to get everything cycled through the engine and the heater core, and then drain that again. So we're gonna go ahead and drain that now, open up our radiator cap and our overflow tank and the bottom, just like before. Okay, so we ran into a quick problem here. Evidently, I over-tightened this when I put it back on. This is the pet cock on the bottom of the radiator, and it snapped off. The remainder of the piece is still inside, and it's still holding fluid. So I don't know if I can replace this without taking the radiator out or what, but I'm gonna try to remove it with an easy out. 
and see, because it doesn't remove all the way. Oh, well, I'm not gonna do that by hand, so hold on one second. Okay, well, you can see how it's gonna work, but a 5 16 Allen head did. If you look in here, that's the size of that. And there was enough of that in there to fit that socket in there. So I'm gonna try to reuse this pet cock until I can figure out how to replace it. Okay, so our radiator is drained, our overflow tank is drained. I also rinsed this out with a pressure washer. So to take to drain this, you're gonna to wanna to take that bottom hose off of the engine itself right here. So one clamp, pop that off. Antifreeze is gonna come out of here and your line, so make sure you catch that. And then I sprayed the engine off because it's corrosive. Uh, with just uh, pressurized water. So we're gonna go ahead and reinstall that and then fill this thing up with uh, distilled water. Okay, so we're running the engine on full heat for about 10 minutes. We service it up with distilled water, distilled water after we drained everything. Always make sure you catch everything that comes out in a drain pan and then turn it in. So this is our initial drain yesterday. See how it's a lot darker green? So we drained that out, we topped it off with fresh water and the uh, radiator flush kit. And this is what came out now. So there's even gonna be, it should be even more clear when it comes out after this because we took this out and then we put about two gallons of water back in. I've got probably almost a gallon of water in the pail here. I'm just waiting on a bucket to, or a, uh, another uh, jug to open up, which I got one right here. So we'll go ahead and dump that in. So we let the engine run 10 minutes. I kind of opened the radiator cap a little too soon. Um, so we'll have to wash this all off again. I also did drain this hose again to drain our overflow tank. And when I drained the petcock, took the petcock out, I did get it to come all the way out. I've got my wife stopping by uh, the auto parts store to get me another one. They're like, seven dollars or something like that so uh once we get that we'll put it back in and then we'll service this bad boy up and call it a day okay you can see we're fully topped off here with fresh coolant our inlet line is hooked back up down there our overflow reservoir is full and tight so we're going to go ahead and reinstall our cap here so these caps also i've had to replace this cap like four times so don't buy the one from O'Reilly's or anything like that, or Napa, or buy the one from the dealer because the center relief valve on these wears out and then you just, you always have a smell of antifreeze in your car and it's ever so small. You won't overheat or anything, but just get the cap from the dealer. All right, so looking at all our fluid here, this is everything we took out from, from start to finish. Um, so you can see it getting lighter and this is what we've got left here and I left this here so you could see what was in the bottom of the pan here so we do have a little bit of um, junk that that cleaner took out um, some particles and residue and rust corrosion or whatever so it's a uh, you know good idea to flush your radiator and um, make sure you take this back to the auto parts store and they'll recycle it um, don't let it drain out as much as you possibly can. And if it does get on the driveway, make sure you hose it away because animals will come and uh, they like the sweet taste of it, sweet smell, and it can kill them. So, um, all right, thanks a lot. Appreciate you guys.